cerebral aneurysms, these are conditions, most of them are congenital, people are born in them. They are abnormal dilatation of cerebral, that is brain arteries. The brain receives arteries from two sources, either the two internal carotids on each side, or what's called the two vertebrals from the back. So two to four in total. Many times people have abnormalities, uh, mainly on the anterior circulation. Anterior is the internal carotids. Majority of people who have aneurysms, 80% are due to anterior circulation, circulation aneurysms. These things can rupture any time. Um, you don't know when they rupture, but they rupture any time. Usually most often is uh, situations where there's increased valsava pressure, like uh, maybe during uh, going to the toilet uh, to pee, or anything like lifting a load can make those things rupture. Uh, but of significance in this region, especially in Kenya, either Nairobi or here, where we do most of these things, they only occur a few seasons in a year, about three months in a year, from May, June, and July. For some reason, we don't understand, but it's likely to be something that is cosmic. Ever since I started my practice here in Eldoret, for the last more than 10 years, the pattern has remained the same. Every year, between May and July, we do many aneurysms, on average about 20 in a year. The rest of the months of the year, we don't see them at all, at all. Maybe sporadic one or two, yeah, just, just sporadic, but we don't see the big numbers. This year alone, we've already done 10. In this season, from May to June, over the last two days, we've seen two patients who have, come, who have been required, and we have done the surgery, clipped, and they're doing well. Sometimes surgery can be catastrophic. Sometimes this aneurysm rupture during surgery, like the one of yesterday we did yesterday. It ruptured during surgery, and it's a, it's a disaster, because to contain that bleeding, you need to have a nerve of steel, because the bleeding is horrendous. We were lucky yesterday we were able to control the bleeding, and managed to do the clipping, and today she's back to normal, luckily. But sometimes things can go either way, you lose the vision on the table.